Well, let's see how DJ Mark does against the Steve Menace. Already putting down the block here and just beginning to put down the the pressure is going on. Coming through the minecart. DJ Mark though, he's an elite smash monster, so he definitely fights like a fair a fair amount of Steves. Maybe Triple A was one of the ones he found on Elite before, who knows? The pressure DJ Mark is like a very like, you know, as you all know, he's a neutral heavy Lucina. Likes to just like dance dance around, wait for you to like, you know, press and then just like, you know, catch you outside of the burst ring. Right now he's getting slapped up by the way Triple A just like throwing these buttons around. Nice catch on the, on the tech. Ooh, Triple A is good at pressing a lot of buttons. Speaking of that, I built a, built a stone sword. He's got it on there. Ooh, big damage with that down smash. Crazy, that could have both hits hit him. Oh my god, he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. Jump up with the jab, getting him out of here. And the minecart still putting some pressure on. Triple A making this a very even game. Gold. And he's swinging, he's swinging. He's waiting for DJ Mark to come in with a little too much buttons. And you see him right there jumping right off of that there, of that there and then press, and keeping the pressure going. But DJ Mark, you know, he's catching these rolls. He's looking for the high recovery, and he's just looking for spots where he can punish Triple A. Catching the spot though, so with that side B. How is Triple A going to get off the ledge here? Going right into the arms of our loving princess. I mean, I wouldn't call her a loving princess. She's more of like a warrior princess. You know, Cena literally traveled back in time to start squaring up with demons and uh, evil dragons and shit, you know? <laughs> She's doing great. <laughs> Anyways, keeping the, damp keeping the pressure going. Triple A doing a Triple A having the final. Oh, he has diamond. I did. I just noticed that. And he's mining. He like mines a little bit, then just shows to come in with like a, a powerful swing. Just like see, like the, there it is again. Mine and just like coming to swing it. And I think D John might have gotten like I wouldn't say used to it, but he's probably like noticing that right now. He knows he hasn't really gotten hit, except for throwing out a counter. But it's like to be fair, he wasn't. He was just a little bit off in the spacing. Oh, D John Mark going for something crazy. Hold on, sir. That's the D-John. And that back air swinging him straight into the blast zone. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Triple A coming through with some saucy ass combos. But can, I, can he finish his plate? Nah, I think he's pass, ready, ready to pass it over to D-John. D-John, my bad. Oh, Triple A also does not have that many materials on deck. Not a lot of iron. Can't really do minecarts or anvil. Instead of giving D-John Mark a chance to, like, you know, Stir something up in the pot real quick. Into up smash? No, we're not going to see nothing like that. Is that Triple A just moving around? Nice and almost getting a rebound, but, you know, not able to finish the plate. He knows his, like, minecart tech, though. Ooh. Almost got stabbed. Oh, my bad. Not fuck almost. He did get stabbed. Blasted, even. The Lancy sandwich, I'll call it. And a 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's the end of his life. As the man takes it, Dijon Mark takes game number one in very fundamental fashion, as I would like to call it. Anyways, as I keep looking through this bracket, I'm very curious. Oh, Jalos is here. Oh, it's Gatsby versus PC. Oh, this motherfucker Gatsby. That's why I want to decide that. that. <laughs> uh, Ice Plank Crim. Looks like they already played. Or are going to. South Plank Eli. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk back to Triple uh, A versus DJ Mark right here. Staying in shield. Very good job. But giving Lucina the respect she deserves when she's in your face like that. I mean, you could try to anti her, but you risk getting punished. And Triple A making the adjustments he needs, getting his combos off right here, not dropping those. But still, still finding himself getting swatted away by Lucina back here. The usual stuff. Nice job, Dijon. Mark on the ledge. The very, it's a monster himself. Jesus Christ, it's brain traps. And still gets caught by that last hit. I love the stutter step from Dijon Mark. It's so good. Not a, No F smash? Hello? That was definitely just like, a, oh shit, I can punish there. Let me, let me, throw, let me throw this out. Uh, no iron. So he can't do anvil and he can't do minecart. Okay, he's got some. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, he's going to run his right back. Wait, that was smart. Just doing it right into there, but still getting a squad away better back here. DJ Mark still doing a fantastic job. I mean, that 
you know, jumping into the up smash wasn't really a fantastic job. But the way he held stage was definitely, like, fantastic. No up smash? No up throw into S smash? Come on now. But an up B, Jesus Christ. Why not let it fly? But a DP of your own. Oh, no. He's off stage. And the down tilt will keep it going. But that up B is invincible, sir. You better give that move the respect it deserves. All right, the, the returning jab into the bear. Good dash side, keeping his uh, keeping Dijon away and just punishing him for like going in a bit too aggressively. Good job, and they're catching right as he dropped the shield. Uh oh, not gonna confirm it to backer though. Bit too high over percent. Nice upbeat. Dijon Mark is not afraid to let those upbeats rip. Oh my god. Good Nair beating the uh, beating the minecart too. Of all things, I'm dare I color me surprised. And not able to punish, but never mind. He gets the air dodge, gets the air dodge lag with the up smash, put himself at another lead. He's on mark, not coming through. A very interesting block placement that uh, we're seeing from a triple A, but still not. A, it was also seen as a very uninteresting up B, and then a clean back here to take that stock. He's on making this a very even, even game. He said, "You may be a Steve, but I am the elite Smash farm. I am a local GSP farmer. So yeah, you're just another, you're just another body in the market to me." But Triple A, he's saying, "I ain't no Steve, man. I ain't no Steve. Not just any Steve, man. Come on now, put some respect on my name." Right now, you see, I, 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 know, I always notice this. You can see like a Steve is working hard, or when like you know they're getting pressured a lot. When, or when I say they're playing neutral a lot, when they just got, or they're getting like you know. Their materials aren't always full. Like, Dijon is... Oh, my God! What the footstool downer right there? Are you serious? That's how we got that shit? What? Like, what the hell, bro? What the hell? <laughs> that was so low, but that footstool there. Anyways. Nice. Nice fair train from D John. Keeping the damage going on and oh triple A got no iron. That's a, like two moves, two of the central moves that are just gone from his kit. Waking up and shielding. D John going for an S match and triple A still no punish. Good get up attack, keeping him away. But one what a pair from Dijon, but he just you know, slightly off in the mark. Mashing out up B. <laughs> Dijon mark slightly off in the mark. <laughs> Getting back here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This might just be what uh, Triple A needs to can mount this comeback. And getting frame trapped into that. <laughs> nice chase on the DI with Dijon from Dijon. That was really freaking good. Ooh. Love seeing frame traps, man. And Dijon is catching him again, rolling in. Doing a good job, a triple A. He's no slouch. He sees you hanging out in the sky too much. You know, floaty characters don't have the luxury of just like you know hanging out like that. Oh, he has to get away from there. Yeah, smart idea for Dijon. Go retreating back to the ledge. No harm there. You see, keep your invincibility. Ooh, stone back in, catching his face, catching his face. Nice. Now, now Triple A starting off this little ledge press of his. Oh, I wouldn't say ledge press, more like ledge stalling. Oh, do you know? We're gonna see it there? Yes, we are! <laughs> cook, my boy, cook! He said, You may be nice, but I'm nice, sir. I'm D John Mark, sir. You heard of me in these elite smash streets, man. Young D John. Nice, good bear. 
And this catch is landings every time. Like Triple A wants to land by pressing a button, and Dijon is just there with a button of his own, a bigger button. There, I, there I say. And then that's Steve S Math. You know, that's a big button in itself. Not gonna see it fair, but we're gonna see another back here. Though Dijon Mark always ready to just like have a button ready to just slot Triple A back to the sides. Said like you better need a Triple A battery to like kill yourself with some life to kill me, son. That F Smash need more than a Triple A battery. We need like a double A or quadruple A or some shit like that, man. I don't know. Them batteries too small. DJ Mark looking for a way to end this game and a back air to catch the roll. Whatever, what a, what a better way to finish it off. That is what 